This is David Hawkins, DHI Enterprises, and in this part of the video, the third and final part, I'm going to explain to you how the annotations actually work in YouTube. So here you can see we have uh, an outro. This is an earlier outro that I made, but the same thing basically applies. And this is the video here. What you're going to want to do is to click on this little caption thing here that says annotations. And it's going to take Welcome you to, to your video. The video will start playing. And I know that the annotations begin around the 9 minute 50 second mark. So I'm just going to go straight there. Play in the next part. Okay, so this is where I want to annotate the outro. Uh, let's see, well, a good place to start, well, let me just start. Uh, everything happens over here at add uh, annotation. And most, to link to your videos and to link the subscribe button and your website and all that, you're going to want to click on Spotlight. And down here at the bottom, you'll have a link. And what you want to do is uh, this part right immediately to the right of link where you see video, you click on there and you'll see all sorts of things. So for this particular section, we want to do the subscribe button. So you click on subscribe and you either you have to enter a YouTube username. I found that it also works if you put in the uh, channel name. So I'm just going to do that. YouTube.com slash C uh, DHI Enterprises. There we go. And that is it. Now, when you clicked on the spotlight button, it immediately, it's hard to see when you have the video up there, but it immediately created this box here. And what you want to do is to just grab this part of the box, make it as long and as wide as your subscribe button. Shorten it up a little bit. And there. And just to show you, but uh, underneath, you're going to find, you know, if you type, then there would be text in the box underneath there. But we don't want anything to be there. We're fine with the subscribe button being back there. And what happens is that you've made, you've made your first annotation down here at the bottom. So next I want to do the same with this video up here. I have a list of all my videos. Let's see, view all. And I want to find the one for disabling the 30 minute limit on Sony cameras. So I'm just going to copy link address. And here you can just do the same thing, add annotation, spotlight. You have your box again right here. If I wanted a two, I can tap in the annotation directly, but you don't really want to type in your annotations in this box here because they'll only show up if there's a mouse over and you want them to always be there. So for now, that's fine. Click on a link in here where it says video, you want to leave it there because it's a video. That's the link to the video. Maybe open the link in a new window or something. And that's it. So, uh, let's see, you can add another annotation, this time a title. And another box appears. It's here somewhere. Yep. Okay, so. It's going to be very big, so what you want to do is just start typing Disable 30 minute There we go, and don't worry about the text being too big because you're just going to grab one of these gray corners and drag it 
until it fits. It's not going to fit with the Sony, so drag it again. Okay, so now you have a title that's going to appear there, whether you're mousing over or not, and that's what you want. And the last video I have down here is how do we afford the camera? So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to right click, copy link address, and I'm going to add another annotation, another spotlight link video, open a new window, and I'm just going to make this a little bit And add another annotation title. Holy for cameras. And do the same thing. It's too big, so just drag it until it's the size that you want it. Okay, and lastly we have my website, so I'm going to add another annotation, spotlight, we've got another box here, we want it to be a square, so guess it, just drag this until it's a square, put it right over there, and a link, and for this one we are going to make it an associated website. So it has to be a website that you've already associated with your channel. In this case it's going to be dhienterprises.com. That's it. You can preview the link if you want. DHI Enterprises. And there's my website. And that is it. You click up here to apply changes. Ah, one more thing. Let's see, we're going to actually play through this. Thanks for watching. If you want to take away the 30 minute limit from your video, or check out one of my new videos down here. But above all, please click the red subscribe button below. That's going to let you see all of my latest shows as soon as they come out. Again, this has been David Hawkins. Follow me on Instagram at Now you can see right here that the annotations are still going. That's because of the end point. So what you want to do is go through and make the end point some point before, I would say 10, 12 would be good. So we start with this one, 10, 12, or maybe 10, 13. Okay. And then the same with this one. And that is it. Now we've got a fully annotated YouTube outro. 
and that's it. Thanks for watching. This has been David Hawkins, DJI Enterprises, at The David Show on Instagram, and I'll catch you later.